Shalom and shalom and welcome to yet another funky Bible daily devotional. Today's sermon is titled, Faith in the Furnace, Abraham's Deliverance and Divine Purpose. And this comes from the book of Yasher, chapter 12. The date is October 26, 2024 by Sword Lord Gideon. Today we explore a powerful event in Abraham's life found in the book of Yasher, chapter 12, where he demonstrates unwavering faith in the face of death. This portrays uh, Abraham's boldness and the miraculous protection of God, foreshadowing the covenant and blessings that will come through him and his descendants. In this account, Abraham's defiance of idolatry and his devotion to the one true God put him at odds with King Nimrod, who commanded that Abraham be thrown into the fiery furnace, unlike the brother Haran, who wavered in faith and perished. Abraham's walked fearlessly in the fire, protected by God as witness, and saw Abram unscathed in the flames. They marveled at his God and recognized divine power at work. This story illustrates the blessing and protection reserved for those who trust in God. We see a parallel of the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the book of Daniel, who also walked unharmed through the fire of unwavering faith. These moments remind us that God's purpose prevails through though those who stand for through those who stand for him <laughs> my apologies on my pronunciations application lesson abram's story challenges us to examine our own faith under trial are we willing to stand firm trusting that god can deliver us from any hardship When faced with pressure, we must cling to our belief in God, even in moments that seem insurmountable. Like Abraham, our trials may testify of God's power to others, drawing them closer to him. Let us bow our heads and pray. Abba, Heavenly Father, we praise you for being our refuge and strength, our deliverer in times of trouble. As we learn from Abraham's life, help us to stand firm in yours, Yeshua, no matter the trials we face. Grant us the courage to reject any idols or false securities and instead fully trust in you, Yeshua, alone. May our lives be our witness to your glory and inspire others to seek you. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and amen. Shalom and shalom. Until next time, may God keep you and bless you. Bye-bye for now.